I don't know what she has against walls, but she really, really hates them. Boom, look at that. Double bomb takes her down to half health. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and I am so, so happy to be here with you guys today because we are going over some clan war defenses, guys. Um, my base in this last war that I did in the Warriors clan, which is Nick's clan, um, my base was flawless. It freaking crushed it. Like, I wouldn't have wanted it to do any better. So I wanted to show you guys the defenses. There were three attacks on it. There were three attacks on it with only one star. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So here's the base, guys. Y'all can screenshot if you want to. You can copy it after seeing the video, or you can keep using your own, whatever. I just wanted to show this to y'all so that y'all could see how it was working for me. But uh, you can see Homeboy over here is attacking from the side, and he made a huge mistake. He didn't drop down the golem to draw my clan castle troops' attention. That was what he needed to do. So he should have dropped down the golem and then his clan castle. Instead, he dropped down his clan castle, and they're still up there fighting, and a lot of his clan castle troops are now dead. So he's working his way into the base. I'm watching it over here on the screen, guys. He's working his way into the base. He takes out my wizard tower very, very quickly and then continues working his way around. But the whole design of my base is to just kite um, all the attacking units around the town hall instead of allowing them to attack it. There's giant bombs in there. There's Teslas, all this kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> and... It's been working really, really well, as y'all are going to see throughout this video. So, pretty much all of his troops are gone. He has that one golem right there. Uh, the majority of his wizards are gone. His king is up top, getting absolutely wrecked. They just broke through this wall, and my Teslas and my Inferno Tower were absolutely dominating this guy. So, uh, he is... He, he, I mean, he did a good job of freezing my Inferno and Tesla, but... All, he didn't destroy them. That's normally when you freeze defenses like that, you want to take them out while they're frozen. He didn't do that. Both of them are still up. Both of them are still focused on his troops in the middle of the base, and they are all getting annihilated. His king is done. All that is left at this point is a witch up here who is now down, and she just left a little bit of her Larry's. I mean, look, I don't even know which one is Larry, but he's about to die if he's still alive. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. So there we go. 40% defense, guys, against... Um, a pretty good attack. So he had max wizards, golems, and witches, uh, and his king. Oh, did he attack without his archer queen? He attacked without his queen. Well, uh, but he had a level 30 king. So here's another one, guys. Max heroes. Look at this. Max heroes and max lava loonian. All right. He's coming in hot, all thinking that he's cool and he's going to crush me, but I don't think it's going to happen. He's not going to do it. So he's coming in with uh, Lavoonian, and now my base is more designed to uh, defend Go White, but I guess it works pretty well against uh, Lavalunian as well, and against Max Hero. So you can see that he's heading in here. Uh, my Inferno Towers are absolutely crushing everything that he's throwing at me right now. He's dropping off a lot of his balloons late. That's what he did wrong here. Uh, a lot of his balloons are coming in late, and... All that means is that they're gonna die when they get in range of my infernos and stuff like that. Like here he goes again, dropping four more up there at the top. If he had dropped them all at once, they could have overwhelmed the base. But you can see that my single target inferno tower is crushing them. Now normally multi targets work better against loons, but <laughs> the single target's doing just fine with that Tesla, that X bow, and that archer tower all on them. Cannot be touched right now, guys. My town hall is just sitting in there asking for it. My town hall is asking to be attacked, and nobody has even laid a single hand on it this entire war. Um, so we got this little uh, lava pup attacking right there, and uh, it's going to get taken out in just a second as it follows the king in. There it goes, down in two seconds. So his level 40 king is down. My king is up here staring him down, and he's like, I don't know. I'm probably going to hang out on the other side of this wall because he looks a little bit bigger than I am. Again, there he got. <laughs> it's so funny when they have question marks above their head. Like, they're looking like, is that an enemy king attacking my base, or am I just seeing things? Nope, that's an enemy king. So he runs out to get attacked. And you, there's one thing that I would change uh, about this game is that the defending hero always gets the first hit. I don't think that's how it should be. I think when their troops come in, if they're within range, they don't attack a wall or anything. They, they go straight for the king. So you can see his king coming in. Boom. Right there. Get wrecked. All of the barbarians almost got owned. His queen is up top. His king's getting focused by the single target. His king goes down. His queen is over here messing around. 44%. 
I got so much stuff on her right now with the mortar, the expo, the uh, wizard tower that it's just done. It's done. 45% max heroes, max lava loonian, uh, and loons in his clan castle. He, I think he just attacked wrong. That's got to be what it is. He had to have attacked wrong. So now homeboy right here is dropping off his uh, giants to pull out my clan castle troops, guys. And uh, we're going to see what happens with this one. So he's going to be using a go wipe, as you can see. And he's got all max troops uh, except for his heroes. But his heroes are almost max. His heroes are higher than mine. Uh, I think, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why I just said I think. His heroes are definitely higher than mine. Uh, and he's coming in with his go wipe from the right side of the base right here. He's taken out all my clan castle troops very, very easily because he did it correctly by distracting with that golem. But you can see they're working their way in right here, guys. I do have it set up to where jump spells won't really work on my base uh, from the outside. So you have to break through at least one set of walls in order to use that jump spell. But he doesn't even have any, so that doesn't even matter. But right now you can see in the center of the base, guys, the kiting is working perfectly. He really wants them to go inside, but my queen is over there on the edge, which is going to draw them around. So I have my king and queen in an area where they're not surrounded by walls. So that way, when they get in range, the troops run over and try and attack them. So you can see that golem is going down really, really quick because of that single target inferno. Now there is absolutely no attempt at the town hall. So I'm sitting pretty when it comes to protecting against that two star, which is what you want to try and do. So he's got his king over here on the side. He's got his pekkas up. His queen is still up. Level 32 queen, level 35 king. Uh, king is about to go down because of all the focus on him. Queen is over here attacking a wall as usual. I don't know what she has against walls, but she really, really hates him. Boom, look at that. Double bomb takes her down to half health. Guys, double giant bomb took her down to half health right there. Absolutely owning her. I really, really wish that he had used uh, his royal cloak ability because that would have been hilarious. So she comes in. She's getting focused now by the expo on the other side, by that inferno tower. She's shooting down the air defense. She goes down right there. All he's got now is a couple of barbarians and pekkas working their way around the base. But guys, find a spot somewhere in the video. Take a screenshot if you want to try this base out. Now, obviously, you do have to be upgraded fairly well in order for it to defend well, but that's how it is with all bases. Um, but at any rate, I hope that you guys like this. You can see that the base held up amazingly. I'm perfectly fine with getting attacked three times and only losing one star. That's boss status. That's beast mode. So leave a like, guys, for this awesome defense, for this awesome uh, war defense. And, uh, yeah, I'll try and do some more of these videos, even though I'm not much of a war. I'm not much of a, I don't know, trophy guy. I'm all about farming and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. You can see, uh, again, showing you all the town hall. Wasn't touched once the entire video. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for all your support. And, as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on from right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.